Hello everyone, this video is called Profiles in Learning, and today we're going to, going to be talking about learning disabilities and how some successful people that you've certainly heard of overcame them. Let's start with a little bit of background information. So first of all, what does this term, learning disabilities, actually mean? And I want to clear up a couple of common misconceptions. Does having a learning disability mean that you aren't as smart as other people? Not at all. This has nothing to do with intelligence. Another common assumption is that people with learning disabilities simply don't apply themselves, that they're lazy. Once again, this is not at all true. So what does this term mean? People with learning disabilities simply have brains that uptake and process information differently from the rest of us. And this makes certain activities or tasks more difficult for them. Research has shown that around 10 to 15% of people in the United States have a learning disability regarding language. And the vast majority of these people have what's known as dyslexia. This is a broad term that refers to many difficulties involving writing, reading, speaking, and even more abstract processes, such as converting words to thoughts and vice versa. Research has also shown that ADHD, a condition involving hyperactivity and difficulty focusing, occurs with dyslexia up to 50% of the time. However, it's important to notice that these two conditions don't have any causal relationship, so neither causes the other, they just appear to occur together. Scientists have found that people with learning disabilities have different learning pathways within their brains. This means that they need to be taught differently in order to effectively understand the information. So early diagnosis and appropriate resources and help can make a big difference in helping people with learning disabilities keep up in school and become successful later on. As a boy, Nelson Rockefeller had a problem with learning that nobody seemed to be able to solve. In hindsight, it's clear that Rockefeller was struggling with dyslexia, but at the time when he was in school, nobody knew what dyslexia was. This led to him struggling to make it through his early schooling, and he even graduated in the bottom third of his high school class. Although he came from an affluent background and didn't necessarily need to succeed in school, Rockefeller was determined to face his challenges and succeed. Through determination and hard work with his tutors, he was able to overcome his learning disabilities and go on to a very successful career. As a matter of fact, Nelson Rockefeller went on to become an enormously successful politician, serving as governor of New York for 15 years, before going on to serve under six different presidents in various positions, and finally as vice president to the 30th president, Gerald Ford. Many of you may be familiar with the brilliant and famous inventor Thomas Edison, but did you know that he also struggled to learn in school? As an eight-year-old, a teacher is even reported to have said that his mind was addled. Unfortunately, similar to Rockefeller, it's likely that Edison was struggling with dyslexia in a time when nothing was known about this condition. For Edison, his mother was the one that helped him through his early learning difficulties and to discover his love of science. It's likely that the tenacity and determination that Edison developed in overcoming his challenges with dyslexia helped him to overcome the challenges he faced as an inventor. When creating the light bulb, he had to try over 3,000 different materials before discovering the material that could successfully carry current without burning up. It begs the question, would Edison have been nearly as successful at creating the phonograph, the motion picture camera, and the electric generator, as well as the rest of his inventions, had he first not had to deal with the struggle of overcoming his dyslexia? Anne Bancroft struggled in school from a very early age, and in the seventh grade, she was diagnosed with dyslexia. Despite this, she continued through high school, struggling with academics but excelling in sports. Anne later became an expert mountain climber, as well as the first woman to reach the North Pole by dog sled, and the leader of the American Women's Expedition, heading the first group of women to reach the South Pole on foot. Despite her physical skills, Anne did not turn her back on academics. She pursued a college degree and eventually graduated from the University of Oregon to become a teacher. She taught both physical and special education. Due to Anne's persistence, she was able to become both an expert athlete and a skilled educator continuing to help people who had similar struggles to her own. If we're talking about success stories of people with learning disabilities, Dr. Garth Vaz might initially appear to be the worst possible example. Vaz had always dreamed of becoming a doctor, but he seriously struggled in school. He dropped out of just about every school he attended, high school, college, and medical school. But each time he returned, 
earning his high school diploma equivalent from the U.S. Army, and both his bachelor's degree and MD from the University of Florida. At long last, Vaz achieved his dream of becoming a doctor. And despite so many failures, he never allowed a temporary setback to put him off from his ultimate goal. Finally, we have Dr. Albert Einstein, a man world famous for his brilliance. However, he most likely suffered from one or more learning disabilities. Though we can't know for sure, experts have theorized that Einstein may have had conditions such as dyslexia, dyspraxia, ADHD, and Asperger's syndrome. Though I won't go into detail on all of these conditions, they may have affected his ability to read, write, communicate, and concentrate. Although Einstein excelled at physics and math from an early age, he struggled in most other subjects, and he failed his college entrance exams, instead attending a polytechnic school. Despite this, Einstein went on to revolutionize the field of physics, and even win the Nobel Prize for Physics for his many accomplishments. Perhaps his learning disabilities even helped him with these achievements, lending him a creativity and originality that other physicists lack. I think the main takeaway from this lesson is that learning disabilities should not be viewed as an insurmountable obstacle. Dyslexia historically has posed a formidable challenge to many. However, the individuals we've discussed, the ones shown here, and many, many more, stand as a testament to the fact that dyslexia and other learning disabilities can be overcome. And with persistence, individuals with these challenges can succeed in whatever they set their minds to. Thanks for tuning into today's lesson. Take care.